On a typical website, 10% of the inventory is sold as premium, such as the home page and other valuable locations, like the first page of a news site's automotive section. A further 20% of the inventory is run of site. What this means is that an advertiser can pay a lower price to appear anywhere else on the website. However, the remaining 70% of a publisher's inventory is either sold for peanuts or not sold at all. This 70% is also called remnant and represents a huge untapped source of income for publishers and audiences for marketers. Remnant ends up being filled with either in-house ads or hyper low cost ads such as Google search engine text ads. Remnant is wasteful, but ad networks haven't been able to crack the problem. As a result, their position as middlemen between advertisers and publishers is now under pressure. And that's not all. Ad networks soak up a significant portion of both ad spends and publisher revenues, and their inner workings lack transparency. Now there's a shakeup. Demand-side platforms, or DSPs, are software tools that streamline online ad buying by automating the decision-making and buying process. Buyers can set multiple parameters and data sources, then let the DSP do the work to improve online campaign performance. Meanwhile, more and more publishers are using supply-side platforms, or SSPs, which are software tools that help them better manage and monetize their inventory. Some advertisers and publishers are using ad exchanges to cut out the middleman completely, leaving traditional media buyers and ad networks out in the cold. Whoa, back up! Ad exchanges? Aren't they the same as ad networks? Nope. An ad exchange allows the automated buying and selling of inventory across multiple ad networks and publishers. Super duper high-tech software creates an auction for online ad impressions. Different advertisers can try to outbid each other for a spot on a website by entering a predetermined dollar amount in their DSP. Whoever wins the bidding process, the ad gets sold at a maximum price in a matter of milliseconds. You could think of an ad exchange as being like a stock exchange. And, just like on Wall Street, when buyers and sellers are connected directly, a fluid market is created with true value established on the fly. As a result, the digital media buying desks of the world's largest ad agency holding companies are effectively becoming stock traders. The ad men have been replaced by math men. So that unsold 70% of publishers' inventory can be traded on an ad exchange to increase the value for both advertisers and publishers. Not only is Remnant easier to trade, it has increased in value because of another recent innovation, tracking the data of visitors to those pages.